I don't remember whether it was one of my choreographers or one of the fellow models. One lady said, "Oh, you you have you are not flat chested. You are pretty okay on the higher side in terms of your breast size. You must be having a lot, a of, lot sex, of sex." Right? Right. There was one show where I was almost finalized for the lead, and the and the producers really really wanted me because they thought I was I would have been the perfect cast in terms of acting. बात बहुत देर तक दूर तक पहुंच गई देन दे सी दैट द नेटवर्क सेड नो यू नो शी इज डस्की शी लुक्स बंगाली वी कैन पुल आर ऑफ एज अ साउथ इंडियन बट शी विल नॉट लुक अ पंजाबी पंजाबी इज अ गोरी चट्टी यू नो देर वॉज दिस इंटायर स्पैन ऑफ वन एंड हाफ इयर्स वन आई कम्प्लीटली आउट ऑफ वर्क सो आई हैड माई ओन स्ट्रगल स्टॉर्ड ही सेड या या फाइन बट आई विल अप्रिशिएट ओनली यू एन मी आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू अ मदर एनी वन अराउंड द बॉटम मैन ऑफ द स्टोरी इज लाइक यू नो आई थिंक वी शुड स्पेंड मोर टाइम एंड गेट टू नो इच अदर सो आई अंडरस्टूड एंड आई केम बैक होम एंड माई बॉय फ्रेंड आई सेड यू नो दिस पर्सन सेड लाइक दिस डू यू रिली थिंक इट मीन समाइक दैट इज लाइक दिस वॉट एज डज इट मीन but i met her when i was a child <laughs> and today i've known her all these years and uh, we've been planning to do this chat about her entire journey because everything might look rosy from the outside but it's not when you look deeper um today joining me for a conversation is chaitini ghosh only on bollywood bubble hello hamuna hey, first have to class <laughs> तुम्हें क्या बना चो विशोन भालो ओके दैट्स टू बॉंग्स कनेक्टेड यू नो शांतनी um a lot of people look at you mm. and see the growth and see that i also want to have a career like her you know she was the first nagin and today nagin has become such a huge um franchise, franchise. yeah um but people do you sometimes feel that because they have seen you only grow in life they sometimes overlook the downs and the lows that you've been through Yes, man. I feel uh, that's how it is. In fact, uh, even uh, amongst my friends, you know. So right now, my show just wrapped up. So I told my friends that you know I'm just um, any, any any which ways when a show wraps up, you yeah. feel a little dull. This year especially began on a bad note for me because first I got COVID and then yeah. I got to know that my show is wrapping up. So I was talking to my friends and they're like, "Hey, it's okay, chill. You are to. You just do the show, mil jaega. You know, you're very blessed. Of course, I have." immense gratitude for what god the almighty universe has given me but i've also seen in close quarters imagine my friend saying so what would the audience be saying i mean audience as in the rest of the fraternity so my friends here tujhe to mil jata hai it's not that i mean mil jane ke piche bhi there is a lot of permutation combination Absolutely. struggles uh and i always say this in most of my interviews that the struggle is a very relative word because if you're a newcomer then your challenge is to get that first break or whatever you know how you take your career up for someone who's established then your challenge is what next i have to kind of uh, where i have left i cannot go below mm-hmm. that so there are struggles and uh, you know there was this entire span of one and a half years when i was completely out of work um, so i have had my own struggle story and um, you know i was this girl who came from kolkata i was 21 22 within 24 i was like nagin happened and you know people took notice okay this girl is there uh, now we see because of you know uh, you know the the inception of social media we see everybody can dance and make do their makeup everybody is very presentable everybody they know what to do what not to do yeah then you you had a lot of uh, the number of actresses who could dance well were very were limited so that was another strength of mine so all in all the industry took notice okay you know this girl from bengal she's come and in two years i, I was I was on a high. I had my own vehicle. Uh, I had my own house. On paper, on paper, I had three more houses. So imagine for a girl who's 24 years old, who's come from another city, Bombay welcomed her with open arms, and I have four houses. And cut to in one and a half years, I had to move to a rented apartment because that was the bad time I saw that I had to sell off everything because Nagin unfortunately wrapped up, had a premature death, and then. Uh, you know industry then behaved in a different way than how it is behaves now and then it was like if you if you were the nagin if you've done any x show and if it became a hit show then they thought are aap to abhi ye thi aap to ye character thi hum aapko immediately dusre character mein Kaise imagine nahi kar sakte so there was a downtime between shows and uh, like i told you you know when you've done i've always prioritized creatively how important my role is money is i'm still a little more flexible on but i never want to compromise on the kind of roles i want to do 
so that one and a half years which is 2009 10 i was completely out of work i was like i said i had to sell off my house so we all have our struggles was there a difficult a uh, phase how did you deal with it because when you make something you know i always feel this that when you don't start off with that pedigree na yeah. even if you come from a very settled upbringing like i come from a very settled upbringing where i have been protected but i come from a middle class humble upbringing yes at the same time when you make it your own on your own basically and then you lose everything yeah it's double painful the, yeah. yeah like double i'm saying painful. you know there are people who struggle to get that first break and my heart goes out to them as well there are very very many talented people who don't don't get that one break or you know there's so many things you know kabhi shows band ho jate who don't make it that big yeah. that is one struggle the other is this that when you when you know you suddenly reach a height and then uh, you know ya to mujhe aake log bole that you are not talented enough you can't act then it becomes easy to deal with that failure you will like okay i don't have it in me yeah. but sometimes whether you call it destiny or bad phase that you're going through or whatever changing changing times of the industry or the society for whatever reasons and you know especially in bombay every day there is an actor who's coming in so whether it is uh, suddenly you know because everybody wants to cast only new comers for xyz reasons so bottom line is when you're there and then suddenly you're okay nowhere it's it's difficult it's a hit right it's a huge how hit how do you take it that time? it was difficult yeah see i was very young and the other another problem that comes with my profession is that see failures not because i'm an actor i have to deal with failure anybody and everybody in any profession can can will yeah, do they do deal with failures but the the problem with our profession is like say my brother he's an engineer if he loses a job i'm sure he has to deal with this failure but then what would one normal person do be at home sal cry try to look out for another opportunity that's the normal course but what happens as an actor a you're dealing with your failure b you get to see every day news is okay this one is getting that show that one is getting that show and when you're in या अन एनी इंटरव्यू अरे आप इतने दिनों से शो क्यों नहीं कर रहे हो आपको शो कैसे नहीं मिलता अरे आप तो इतनी हीरोइन मटेरियल हो आपको कैसे नहीं काम मिलता है तो फेलियर के साथ तो डील करना ही है बट एवरी डे रिमाइंडेड बींग रिमाइंडेड ऑफ इट विच यू डोंट वॉन्ट टू सो दैट्स अ वेरी वेरी डिफिकल्ट सो इट्स रियली रियली टेक्स या अ बिग वोट एवर करेज बोलो विजडम बोलो टू डील विद इट एंड today you know when i'm 37 i can deal with it more maturely then i was 24 25 it wasn't easy what i always knew in, in deep within me that even if i'm going through a bad phase i always had that belief in myself because i wanted to be an actress for the right reasons of course i want fame of course i want money i won't lie if i say yeah. ki mujhe paisa nahi chahiye rudwa nahi chahiye main jhoot bol rahi hoongi mujhe wo yeah. chahiye of course but more what than are you working for exactly otherwise? but more than that i love acting so i love the craft i am an actor first so if you have if you work on your talent sooner than later later this is my belief that if you're talented enough and and i can again speak for myself and for my experience my 16 years journey is is i think a blueprint of that that i have had my ups and downs but today if i am still a part of the industries because somewhere somewhere i must be good at my craft otherwise you know times change now there's social uh, social media tomorrow there will be something else so you know those things are there but if those handful of people are still a part of the industry koi to baat hogi unme and that baat is mehnat man, my again my father always says there's no substitute for hard work so i mean that's how i dealt with you know uh, shantini um you recently spoken about being body shamed yeah. and body shaming is an issue which happens to people on a daily basis like right? yeah. uh also in the form of a joke yeah you know i also must have unknowingly unintentionally shamed somebody and i yeah. i we I all i think to, yeah uh, admit it but right now i'm conscious enough to not do it but it happens rampantly on social media how much of body shaming did you go through pehle vis-a-vis -vis now as well i think i've gone through it consistently is just that we are aware now there's something called yeah. body shaming when i was in my modeling days we didn't know this is called body shame a lot of times our family members are knowingly true talk to us they don't even know the repercussions how mentally yeah, yeah, it yeah. can affect you so i think uh, as far as my memory serves from the teenage time itself i i have been uh, you know whatever i have faced such marks or comments and a lot of time i'm like i'm saying it is not meant like whether it was my friends they probably never meant it in a nasty way but that's 
the conditioning we have that we yeah. don't even know that when unknowingly we land up saying it is all conditioning yeah so today we know it this is this comes in the area of body shame so we are aware of that but you know i remember instances in modeling days where i've had women forget men i've had women come and tell me weird stuff you know are you are a bengali bengali women to a voluptuous and this and that so i have faced that you know a certain perception people have i have had crazy comments acha so you know for me i uh, physically i there are people who develop later in life i always uh, develops like uh, probably sooner than the others you know like uh, i i was tall one of the tall girls and physically i you know like i matured sooner whether it was my menstruation everything happened soon mm-hmm. to me you know like i have had friends who would come and say are your breasts are developed uh then i've had uh, I, i remember one of my modeling days you know one woman she came and said and i was just 18 19 and right now very honestly we are very aware because i think because of whatever the society has developed in the social media we are aware of exposure yes uh, you know uh, we speak openly about yeah. sexual stuff then it wasn't you know and uh, i wasn't at least i was one of those girls who was really really naive So I remember one of my modeling thing, and I wasn't—I've never been flat-chested. I've been an Indian girl, like how we have an Indian hourglass figure. I had one of—I don't remember whether it was one of my choreographers or one of the fellow models. One lady said, "Oh, you—you you have you are not flat-chested. You are pretty okay on the higher side in terms of your breast size. You must be having a lot of sex, right?" Yeah. So there was this thing that if you are have a lot of sex, your boobs grow in size. I don't even know what that's supposed to mean. I'm like, and I'm a virgin, by the way. Then I'm like, okay, what is happening? So you know, such things. Imagine I was 18 and I'm, <laughs> I'm a middle. I'm like in my mid 30s. At such things, this scar you unknowingly. And now when How I how did you react to that? I don't know, honestly. I don't remember. But like I'm saying. this whole and that was my post that the post that you're referring to about body shaming you know we have this fascination still towards women's breasts you know and it scars you and it is both ways if you are a little heavier then it's a problem if you're flat chested then it's also a problem because there's so many women you know in bengali we have terms when people are flat chested so it's never good enough this so this society standards this plastic standards of wanting to look a certain way and i think one of the negatives of course social media also has a lot of pluses but one of the minuses is this this crazy beauty standards that you yeah. have to fall yeah. into also, suddenly you want bikini body suddenly you want iski tarah body enough. yeah when well, i'm telling you when i when i um i was never like on the heavier side to be very honest but i have a problem because i don't ex- i used to not exercise at all So I used to only gain um, fat here in the belly. So I started eating proper. That time also people, just say, बोलते हैं मन अरे पेट दिख रहा है पेट दिख रहा है पेट दिख रहा है. And then suddenly um, when I actually tr- started eating clean, my waist has become very thin. I what do I do? I can't do anything. My waist is twenty five right now. Twenty five, twenty six. So that is also a problem. They are very you see very even pandemic. women who are flat chested or smaller, you have to pat them up. When women who are heavy heavier, then you have a problem. There are people who say that you know the moment you are heavier, you look anti. You know they have that has there ever been an issue when it comes to acting like in in the movie? I haven't faced. When it comes to acting, I'll be very honest, I haven't faced because Mm, I don't know. I think, uh, of course, there are weight fluctuations that phases that I've also yeah. gone through. But I honestly, if I talk about my experience, I haven't been rejected or faced to any such um, uh, prejudices when it comes to acting. That you look this way. Of course, I've faced other stereotypings because of the way I look, but not in terms of body shaming way. As in, as in, like uh, you know, this is my last show. I was playing a Punjabi, and I was. Uh, surprisingly happy and alarmed when my makers uh, my producer my network said we want you to play a punjabi who's not a punjabi just by the, the name of it or on paper she speaks punjabi she behaves like one and like are you sure i won't name the network i won't name the show there was one show where i was almost finalized for the lead and the and the producers really really wanted me because they thought i was i would have been the perfect cast in terms of acting baat bahut der tak dur tak pahunch gayi almost on the verge of signing a contract verbally maan lo ho hi gaya contract Then they say that the network said no. You know she's dusky. She looks Bengali. We can pull her off as a South Indian, but she will not look a Punjabi. Punjabis are gori chutti. So basically, racist slurs. It's more of a stereotype, stereotype I would say. Also, yeah. yeah. So because uh, you, 
imagine i have my first cousin sister she is white that's how fair she is so who says bengalis can't be fair and who says a punjabi cannot be medium complexion how i look as a character that's the stylist and the creative's job yeah. to make me dress like one True. you know you cannot say you you seeing you're a very good actor but then you because you won't look punjabi then i faced i have had stalwarts of the industry say you know you have big eyes you've got sharp features so we cannot imagine you as the damsel in distress or you know the dukhiyali kinds if that's the kind of role you always come across as a strong woman thing so i have faced that stereotype i have also been rejected luckily i'll again say i love my industry i'm a part of this industry there are pluses in the industry right now i think we've evolved it still does exist but we've definitely moved yeah. forward from where it used to be pehle yeah conditioning is still good yes yes pehle aisa tha agar aapne vamp kiya aap to perpetually vamps ka role milega aapko but again if you see in my career graph i have done i've been the most you know crazy villain that can be there was this show called santoshima where i was playing this goddess called polymi she was devastating two there was a role called neela in naam karan who was like the most perfect and the most goody person on earth so yeah i've also had i've done both sides that's why i'm saying the industry is also evolved now but when you did that did uh, were you told that why am why are you doing these roles you will eventually get vamp roles uh so initially i didn't do vamp roles even i was a part of this thought process so my first show which was kumkum it didn't work out i mean after beyond the point i couldn't continue with the show because as i said i was very young and i was doing bengali films so i was under this uh, fear always ki yaar maine agar vamp ka role kar liya to mujhe kolkata wale bolenge yaar aap heroine kya banoge aap to aap vamp ke roles kar rahe ho aur un dino na like ek to female vamps bahut zyada filmon mein hoti nahi thi like television mein hota hai so uh, i also was a part of this weird thought process so i said no no so initially when i shied away from doing negative roles but then beyond the point after 4 5 years when i also started i became a thinking actor i started understanding things i said no you know if i have to be able to sustain myself in the longer arc i have to have to showcase my versatility and i took it as a positive way that how many actors are there whom you can trust with both positive and negative yeah. roles True. to convincingly be able to pull both True. the both the ends of the spectrum so well you know um like you said that you must not have gone through a lot of uh, body shaming when it comes to movies and uh, tv mm. like work Uh, but a lot of people do complain of being taken advantage of mm-hmm. um in a lot of ways you know okay. exploitation happens uh, because i know people um my friends also go through uh, the same on a daily basis who are struggling to make a mark when you started or all you started off with bengali films mm, did you face any kind of awkward moments with anybody where people try to make make a move whether it's from an actor or a producer or director or anybody or anybody like a casting person Oh uh, so casting people I'll be very honest I haven't had to deal with a lot of casting people because such has been yeah, my route yeah because uh, you know when I came to Mumbai work led me onto another yeah. work and also in the initial years this this whole uh, you know designation or position of casting directors weren't there yeah, wasn't yeah, there yeah, it wasn't. so it was creatives and the channel and the producer uh, so I really didn't have to face or meet a lot of casting people and because primarily i do television uh, after 4 5 years i was established enough for people to reach out to me directly yeah. so uh, in my case i have had i didn't have to deal with a lot of casting people so i can't comment in that area but uh, initially like i said there must have been instance, instances where people must have made a move with me but i was very young and naive even to realize that okay this comes under the category of a move but there was one particular instance which i remember because it was probably the first or second time it happened It was one of my Bengali movies. I will not name the movie, <laughs> but it was one of my Bengali movies. When uh, and you know, I'm I I don't come from an acting background. Neither have I trained myself. So I was told that you'll have to do workshops and you know do script reading sessions, which is a part and parcel of our profession. Uh, where to do? You know, these days you get halls. You know, a lot of things are there now. Yeah. A lot of things back in 2000. I think this is three or four that I'm talking about wasn't available, and this was in Kolkata. uh so i was told that you'll have to do script reading sessions and all i said okay so where do we do it so uh, you know in kolkata you will understand a lot most of us live in our own, own, own yeah, houses yeah. now the flat culture has come up very recently yes so uh, we used to live in amade baite thaktam 
and we had a flat which was empty lock and key so my mother said listen we have a flat so you might as well sit there and read i said okay perfect so this person who was heading the script he said yeah yeah fine but i will appreciate only you and me i don't want your mother or anyone around and i am 18 19 then my mother will obviously be around not for anything else but you know chai do pani do all of that you need someone around not doesn't have to be ma but someone that person said no i need time with you otherwise how do i train you then probably i didn't understand the meaning of it a couple of years later i understood that was his way of communicating with me and telling me that i don't want people around and i did feel a bit notch of uh, feeling uncomfortable i remember clearly in one of the outdoors of that particular film i did put my point across to my director saying that and you know a lot of times you're also scared that you are a newcomer you are nobody and a woman so do you even have uh, you know again the certain conditioning we had in the society but throughout i was living in this fear ki i just hope mujhe movie se nikalna de movie se nikalna de and uh, you know because you're a newcomer you're an outsider you're a girl you're a woman and uh, i was like uh, shall i be raising this shall i be raising this and this is 2003 4 it's not yeah. now now uh, we are way more vocal women come across with their issues then it wasn't but i remember later in the outdoor thankfully nothing bad happened and i think my mother's presence here and there made uh, the message was loud and clear to the other person but during one of my outdoors i told my director that this had happened and i am uncomfortable so whenever if i am if you put me through any more script sessions ensure there's another you know another presence yeah. there otherwise i'm going to be very uncomfortable so that was very early on in my career which is like initial years uh, i have also faced it in mumbai again uh, i wouldn't want to name the person uh i remember one of uh, one of my television events i was performing and uh, like i said i was i've always been one of those actresses who dances very well yeah. that's how the industry always looked up to me so i was performing and i had this uh, you know this this person who belonged from the movie industry he saw me and me and another friend of mine colleague of mine and he said you know you do girls all dance so much better than so many other people you'll have such presence why don't you and uh, why don't you all try for films and then this is a time i'm talking about when web series didn't exist that is yeah. those are the years i'm talking about and you know of course yeah uh, you know anybody would be excited uh, you know when a noted personality comes and says you know you all should try this that and i and i began with films so i wouldn't lie see i'm very very proud of being a tv industry tv person or uh, belong to the tv industry and i would never ever leave tv to get into movies anyways coming back to the conversation so when i was uh, uh, said you know why don't you all come and meet me and this and that i was excited and i was those were the formative years in mumbai i was like okay there's no harm in meeting people this is a director this is a producer or director? yeah i mean both okay. so uh, he he's a producer he directs also at times so i went and I, and i went i was like normal and uh, uh, you know in those days you had those portfolios i went with my portfolio so i remember the first time itself there was like tang dimag mein ghanti baji i was uh, the meeting time was some 3 pm and it kept on del- getting delayed he's like i am in a meeting can you come little 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 later karte karte the meeting was 8 pm i you know whether you call it conservative or not these are few things that i initially always followed that you know not doing any work meetings beyond a certain hour not because i don't trust the other person but how else do you function you know like i am a girl who's not from the city who's outside the industry i am not i don't come from a filmy background yeah. i have to do whatever i do i have done on my own so these were whether you should say my defense working already or my the, the way i orchestrated my life but i said okay this is how i am going to operate i am not going to meet people just to be in a safer side whether the other person has an intention or not but i don't want to be in a you know get into any tricky situation so i ne- never used to meet people beyond a certain time 7 7:30 ke baad always prefer meeting in a public place or in an office yes. not getting into any like these days it's more chilled out you can have meetings at your house or go to other people's house i am talking about again the mid 2000s yeah, yeah. you know so i i followed this So when I was called for a meeting at eight eight thirty, I I I had to respectfully bow out. I said no, you know. But obviously, I said no. 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 But obviously, I said
this my only portfolio which i had my <laughs> i had a big portfolio i went he saw the photos he said yeah yeah you're very photogenic and i've seen you dance and this and that something he said he said that you know uh and he named an heroine he said you know this is the person i walked with and this is the person how she is in in uh, in her normal life but this is the role that she's done and i i i knew her strengths i knew her weaknesses एंड मुझे पता था कि वो ये रूल नहीं कर पाएगी बट क्योंकि मैंने उस इंसान के साथ इतना ज़्यादा वर्क स्पेंड वर्क मैंने आई हैड स्पेंड सो मच टाइम यू डन वर्कशॉप्स एंड दिस एंड दैट सो आई कुड टू वीक द रोल इन अ वे इन द मैनरिजम्स टू सूट हर आई एम लाइक ओके एंड देन कम्स द बॉटम लाइन ऑफ द स्टोरी इज लाइक यू नो आई थिंक वी शुड स्पेंड मोर टाइम एंड गेट टू नो इच अदर सो आई अंडरस्टूड एंड I came back home and my boyfriend आई टू यू नो दिस पर्सन सेड लाइक दिस डू यू रिली थिंक इट मीन्स सम लाइक दैट He's like, yes. What else does it mean? He's openly telling you, let's get to spend time with each other. Who spends time with each other? So I've had instances like that, yeah. you know. So we've dealt with it. We've, I have dealt with it, and at times it depresses you. You know, Absolutely. at times it, you start questioning yourself: Is there something wrong with me? Am I the one who's giving out such vibes to the other person, where the other person thinks he or she has the authority to approach me that way? So you. the unfortunate thing in, in this entire you know such experiences that no no even if you're not at fault sadly you start questioning yourself worth yeah you start thinking the self doubt absolutely that mere mein kuch kam hai am i the one who's giving across such vibes and also i am the available i'm available if you go through it over and over again and when you're not established especially i feel that beyond a point you just feel like are you matlab there is no other way in and if this is the only way and you any which ways and very sadly you also hear such stories about yeah. our industry yeah. now i am a part of the industry i know that if this exists a lot of good also yeah. exists yeah. so this is not the only thing which is synonymous with the industry i will again say this is my experience and this experience could have been in any quarter of my life even if i had to be in another profession yeah. so don't get me wrong when i say that entertainment industry is only synonymous with this no i am talking about my experience with you yeah. this But can I, be there anywhere casting couch can be there anywhere exactly in bollywood it gets more pronounced because the because you actors and you yeah. it, it sells it's a masala you yeah. want to know what's happening in a actor's life But it happens in every field exactly. let's be honest i am sharing my experience that i've gone through this and i'm sharing it from an experience point of view not my experience in the industry yeah. an experience being a, a girl who's grown up an experience as whatever i faced as a woman or as a working individual and such experience is what is sad yeah. it can it can come from any industry yeah. it just makes it gets your confidence down you get into this whole bubble of self doubt True. questioning yourself which i don't think is fair to True. any man or woman i'm sure men also face uh, such experience but you know um, what what amazes me is that um, uh, the person i had met then so <laughs> many years ago is this do you even person. have any memory of it i of course do. <laughs> it was poilan world school i i have an elephant's memory that's the biggest problem sometimes my friends get very upset because but trust me it's a bad but it's a bad thing At times, I want to forget things. Oh, I don't want to remember this. But then you have this library inside your head where you remember everything. Yeah, and then like, you can't get over it. I know. You can't forget it. I I feel you. <laughs> But you're the same person, and uh, only that you know, you've always been this fiercely loyal, strong human being. And uh, I hope that you stay the same because um, slowly, slowly there are winds of change in the industry today. And uh, yeah. It was a very very powerful chat, and I genuinely genuinely loved uh, doing you. this. Thank you. Thank you. I feel likewise, and of course, you know that there's a connect because we come from we've bought, we've yeah. come from the same same place, our birthplaces, and we've had a, a, a formal connect. But apart from that, almost the same neighborhood. <laughs> yeah. But apart from that, I don't want this to become a mutual admiration club. I don't want people to think that way. But I genuinely think you're one of those uh, honest journalists who are around who. who says what it is respectfully i mean you you don't have to agree to everything and i'm so glad we finally could do this interview and i don't know you know i i am if i have to sum this up you like you said change is change is the most constant thing and mm. i think we should be changing and evolving with time for the good things society has changed for the good my industry has changed for the good mm. unfortunately a lot of times you know a lot of things get spoken where a normal person tries to believe that this industry is only about vices yeah. like we said because you know the news sells today if you say a certain actor has done something everybody the eyeballs are grabbed and 
you wouldn't bother so much about a non actor sure. or a common person i have got married to a man who doesn't be- belong to this industry and in the initial years it took both of us that constant work to try and understand each other because and i don't blame outsiders because if i didn't have to become an actor you know if if a if a lie gets spoken thousand times you start believing that yeah yeah, yeah. so you know Absolutely. my only thing if whatever i've spoken in industry is i've spoken about my experience and that experience is about one working woman one modern working woman in this society yes i am an actor and i'm talking about my profession and my professional journey but whatever taboos uh, that we've spoken about it exists in, in our society, society. at large yeah. yeah so when while we are changing and evolving and while we are technologically becoming so advanced i think it's very important that you know we should evolve from the mind we we should educate our children and be wise enough and uh, yeah i think and be a less judgmental lot we are Absolutely. always so ready to judge the other person we ourselves living glass houses mm-hmm. but i think i have had a glad chat i'm glad we've had a fantastic chat and i hope Me too. Yes, shop bhalo finally, and Ooh. now we'll have some mishti. <laughs> mishti, I'm not having. Why? You're clean eating. You can't do that. So much you have a special mishti ani. Yeah, but I love you. I mean, knowledge good mishti ani. Hi, I'm Shyamthi Ghosh, and you're watching me on Bollywood Bubble. Please like, share, and subscribe.